Well, I had a fun experience this morning. Um, basically, it's like my mom and me, we were roaming around Walmart. And then there was, uh, over to the left, there was a mechanic shop. A stand, an, an independent mechanic shop that was sort of attached to the Walmart. And so this whole experience, me and my mom, we were walking around the mechanic shop. And I was trying to decide if I wanted them to change my oil. <clears throat> and then I decided, nah, I'd rather have Walmart do it. Because it'd probably be cheaper at Walmart than the independent shop that was attached to Walmart. And it, yeah, so the whole experience, it's like I was just walking around this mechanic shop. It was fun. And, um, and then I went over there and saw about seven employees and I was like wow it's a female owner and I was like well since she's you know a female owner all the employees will probably be male you know because it's a mechanic shop so I counted all of the employees and there was about seven or eight employees the owner which was a female and then all the employees were men and um uh, yeah so anyway it was fun and so I just kept observing the mechanic shop and observing tires and shit that they had like late, laid around and stuff. And um, at one point, my mom walked out, but she was going to come back in. I'm not sure what she did, but she walked out and then she was going to come back. And then I noticed she left a purse right there at the door. And I'm like, why would she leave a purse right there? You know, it's not real safe or whatever. But yeah, so it was fun. The whole experience, uh, we're mainly just walking around the mechanic shop. Um, and like I say, it was attached to the, the Walmart, but it was independent. And, and like I say, I was debating whether or not I should have my oil changed there, you know, or um, at Walmart. And then I decided, I told my mom, it, it would probably be best just, just to change my oil, you know, get it changed at Walmart since it would be cheaper. And um, yeah, and I was thinking about that in real life, maybe having it changed at Walmart instead of the stupid dealership but um oh yeah and then um i had the other um experience uh i forgot to mention where um i was at the motel up the street and i used to work there a long long time ago so i, I know it pretty well i've been into all the rooms and stuff and anyway back in 2012 in real life i was hanging out with somebody for many, 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 many hours. And so under the scenario, it was the exact same repeat of that, of that experience back in 2000, <laughs> back in 2012. Yeah, it was so weird. I mean, it felt so real. Like it was just so real, like the energy, you know, you know how motels have certain energy about the rooms and stuff, you know, it just had the exact same energy and stuff from back in 2012 when I was under the scenario. And I was in this hotel room for a long time and we were conversing and, and, and doing other things and stuff like forever and ever and ever. And, um, and finally I walked out of the, the motel room. I was about to leave or whatever. And, uh, you know, like, like the next morning I was about to leave and there was like a, it's like I was baking a cake right there at the near the end table by my by the bed, and it was like a blueberry cake. It was so weird, and there it wasn't an oven. There was no oven, but it was still baking. It looked to be about you know seventy five percent baked, and it, it was like a uh, what do you call it a sheet cake. You know, it was about uh, a foot and a half. A uh, foot and a half long and 12 inches wide or whatever. Yeah, and it was like a blueberry cake. And it was just totally like just baking right there by the bed. Without an oven or anything. It was so weird. And and back then in 2012, um, I did stay in that room for quite a while. Overnight and into the morning. So in the scenario, you know, I was there quite a while. And, uh, yeah, it's called Park, well, I forgot what it's called now, but it used to be called Park Inn International. But, yeah, it was, it was 
fun. I mean, it, I was in that scenario for a long, long time. And this mechanic one this morning, it was fun too. I was in this scenario for a long, long time too, walking around the mechanic shop, me and my mom. And um, yeah, it was pretty fun. But anyway, those are my other two experiences I forgot to talk about. Thanks for listening. Hand up. Hand up. Live. Look alive, hand up. Because it says 10%, should be a lot more. Okay, so this morning I had two scenarios <laughs> that I was in Austin, Texas. Uh, I've been to Austin, Texas millions, millions of times under OBE VR Lucid Dream. Okay, let's see. Make sure it's charged. Okay, let's see. I see a green light right there. Uh, 11%. I think it's charging. 11%. Okay, so take that out. Okay, it's charging. Yeah, so this morning I had two scenarios I was in Austin Texas the first scenario I was basically in a neighborhood uh, I was um, in a familiar neighborhood that I used to live in in real life when I was in Austin <clears throat> and um okay hold on and basically uh I was on foot I don't know why I wasn't in a car, but I was on foot and it was starting to get dark and I was just trying to walk back to my apartment. And um, I was like, you know, I don't know if it's safe walking along the street, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, for whatever reason, I was just kind of walking along, not really a street, more like a highway, a couple highways right there. And I was just trying to get back to my apartment. And I knew it was Austin, te Texas and everything. It looked exactly like Austin, Texas, Austin, Texas. And it was already, you know, programmed for me to know that, that it was Austin, Texas. So that was the first scenario where I was uh, trying to get back to my apartment on foot. And I was just kind of like, um, you know, I didn't know if it was safe along the highway right there. And, and that's not the first time I've been in that same little area either. Under OBEVR Lucid Dream. I've kind of been in that same uh, area before. And, uh, okay, so, um, okay, so the second scenario, it started off, I was sleeping in the front bedroom of my mom's well, in real life, it was my mom's house, but in the scenario, it was Brenda's house. But but it was like my mom's house, but it was Brenda's house, but it was exactly, you know, l l laid out, you know, it was exactly the same house. You know, the alien Joel gets confused sometimes, but it was actually my mom's house in real life, but in the scenario, it was Brenda's. So the front bedroom, it's like I was spending the night, I was staying there in the front bedroom, 
and in real life that's where my brother stays I was staying there in the front bedroom and I looked down and I saw my luggage and everything one one luggage bag and it looked pretty new and uh and so I, I woke up and everything and I saw my luggage stick or sitting there my luggage and then I mosey on down the hallway <coughs> like into the kitchen and and there was like a naked man it looked like he kind of had a beer gut he looked about 40s or 50 and he was like a, a naked man uh you know just walking around the kitchen and um <laughs> and uh the mindset was um like i already knew that like brenda um obviously like had sex with him and i was just kind of like what a skank you know because i hadn't seen brenda in many 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 years you know in the scenario in, in a real life i hadn't seen her in many 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 years but for whatever reason i was visiting her and uh <laughs> yeah so there was like a naked man and i saw his like beer gut and and his butt and everything and and then um he knew that i woke up and everything so he finally just walked down into the basement and like i say this was all exactly like my mom's house except in the scenario it was bridges house and so he went down into the basement because i think he didn't really want me to see him like all naked and shit so he went down to the basement and uh and then i was just kind of like and like Brenda said, she had sex with them. And I was just kind of like, what a skank, you know? You having sex with everybody or whatever. <clears throat> so that part was kind of funny. And then so, um, and for whatever reason, my sister was also staying there. So then I went on uh, past the kitchen. I walked past the kitchen into the, the laundry rooms, which in real life, they used to be uh, two bedrooms. It used to be my sister's bedroom in real life. That's the bathroom now. But in the scenario, it was a bedroom. It was two bedrooms right there. Like a long time ago in real life. And my sister was sleeping in, in the bed, you know, really hardcore and everything. Because she sleeps real hard in real life, you know. So she was sleeping really hardcore and everything in the bed. And I saw her in the bed, laying there in the bed. And Brenda was over there, like, trying to clean the sink and stuff and clean the tub and stuff. And I'm like, you're going to wake my sister up and blah, 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 blah. So that part was kind of funny because she was just like in there, you know, trying to clean the, the bathroom. Apparently there was still like a bathroom there, you know, right there, um, l l l like near the bed, n near where she was sleeping. And um, yeah, and then I saw like some more. Oh, yeah. And then I saw another one or two luggage bags sitting there in the kitchen which was that naked guy's, you know, luggage bags. And then I looked down and I was telling Brenda that, that, you know, I used to have luggage just like that. And, you know, I used to take them to the airport. I was telling her stuff like that. Um, but, but, but the one luggage bag, like I say, was in the other room where I was sleeping in the front bedroom. But yeah, I was just noticing how familiar that luggage looked and how I used I told Brenda how I used to have luggage like that, blah, 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 and that I used to take them, you know, to the airport, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so this scenario went on for a long time. The first scenario in the neighborhood, when I was walking down the neighborhood, uh, you know, along the highway right there, that scenario didn't last very long. This one, where I was inside the house and everything, inside Brenda's house, this, this last, now why I even visited her, I have no idea. But um, in the scenario, you know, it was like I hadn't seen her in many, 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 many years. And in real life, I hadn't seen her in many, many, many years. So anyway, Joel just, you know, creates me, creates me all these funny scenarios. Yeah, and so this scenario, I was in it for quite a while, you know. You know, walking back and forth in the house and having conversation and stuff. And, uh, and I just couldn't believe Brenda had sex with that guy. And I was just kind of like, like, what a skank, you know? I was having all these thoughts, like, what a skank and stuff. And, uh, I, I know Joe could have put that in there probably because of that sh uh, show I was watching last night. It's eight episodes. I just have one more episode to watch. It's about a pandemic. 
and uh and it did show this one naked man you know from kind of a distance except in the scenario i was much closer to him except i just kind of saw his beard gut and his butt but yeah so it was kind of fun experience but it lasted a long time when I was in her house and everything and uh, it did seem like my brother was also staying there but for whatever reason he must have been gone for a couple of days because I had been staying in that front bedroom you know but I don't know where he went he wasn't in Brenda's house at the time but um, yeah so it was kind of weird but it was fun you just got to have these experiences to know how fun they are. Those are my, my two experiences to Austin, Texas. Oh, there's Goldie. Say what? Thanks for listening. Goldie. Got to get those fleas off you. I'm still working on getting up, getting them, getting them all off. Well, we've already say we've already gotten about 90, <coughs> like 90% off. But we still got many more percent to get off like 10 more percent. Go with Goldie. Yes, we do. Goldie. 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 I look tired. Baby girl tired. Baby kitty tired. Oh, I forgot to mention that when I was <coughs> okay, when I was hanging out at um outside on the on the uh, freeway, which appeared to be uh, t 291 or whatever in Austin right there. I was trying to walk through the neighborhood to get to my apart apartment. And uh, I forgot to mention that when I looked straight ahead over to the left, that was Congress Avenue. And then I started thinking how, because Alex Jones, he's been on the news lately. And I started thinking how um alex jones was uh uh that, that he lived kind of like north austin uh kind of more northern austin but i knew that he had uh sometimes come in you know came to south austin to you know work out at the gym or whatever well he's mentioned that before that he's worked out at gyms and stuff but i i, I think he hangs out in North Austin. I don't think he goes uh, to South Austin or whatever. He hangs out more North, I think. But in the scenario, it was kind of like I was overlooking Congress Avenue over there up to the left, straight ahead. And then over to my right, that was kind of like 291 freeway or whatever. And I was trying to like walk through this neighborhood to my apartment. Yeah, so, um. But then I forgot to say that about Alex Jones. Because, you know, I knew he lived in Austin and everything. And that he mainly hung out in North Austin. But that sometimes he would come south to go to the gym and work out. But yeah, I forgot to mention that part. Well, thanks for listening. Okay, Mommy forgot to mention that. Because she waits too damn long and then she starts forgetting shit. Goldie. Goody! Do my name Goody? Goody! Let's go get some of those fleas off.